Most of us have never, and hopefully never will, experience a life and death close call. It's not something that you want to happen to you, however they do happen, and those who experience it are always thankful to be still alive and tell the tale. From bot shark attacks to yet another shark attack, but this one broadcasted on live television, stay tuned to the end to find out what happened there. Here are the 10 most dangerous close calls at sea. Number 10. Shark attack at the Cayman Islands. The waters around the Cayman Islands have recently been invaded by lionfish. These deadly creatures possess poisonous spines that, when it impales a swimmer or a diver, almost means certain death. To prevent any lionfish deaths from happening, lionfish cullers regularly dive into the pristine waters and get rid of the unwanted fish. This job is inherently dangerous, not only because of the danger posed by the fish they're capturing, but also from other denizens of the deep. Lionfish caller Jason Dimitri was only five months into the job when he experienced his first potentially dangerous encounter. Not with a lionfish, but with a shark. The video, which quickly went viral on YouTube, shows Dimitri doing his job when he suddenly let out a scream, and the reason soon swam into frame. A Caribbean reef shark suddenly decided to take a nip at him, obviously attracted by the many dead lionfish he was carrying. Fortunately, he was able to defend himself with his spear, the tool he uses to catch lionfish. He dropped the container containing the lionfish, and the shark promptly swam away. Environment officers say the incident may have been the result of reckless divers feeding sharks from spears, teaching them to associate lionfish colors with food. Number 9. Great White Jumps on Boat Fish jump into boats all the time, and it's often taking as good fortune. However, here's one fish that you definitely don't want to be jumping on your boat at any time. Marine researchers in South Africa had a narrow escape after a three-meter-long great white shark reached the surface of the sea and leapt into their boat, becoming trapped on deck for more than an hour. The incident occurred while the research team was conducting a shark population study off Seal Island, near Mossel Bay on South Africa's Cape Coast. Using sardines as bait to attract the predators, the seven-strong crew was able to observe four great whites. The animals are renowned locally for bursting through the surface as they prey on seals. An hour or so in, the crew suddenly heard a mighty splash as one of the Great Whites breached the water's surface and then flew directly above the crew members responsible for chumming the water. The mighty shark then slammed onto the deck of the ship. The first half of its body was outside the boat, but in a panic, the shark thrashed its way further on the vessel, cutting the fuel lines and damaging equipment before becoming trapped between the containers and the stern. When the shark finally calmed down, the researchers were able to pour water over the half-ton shark gills to keep it alive, before asking another boat to tow the huge animal off the deck and into the water. Fortunately, the shark wasn't seriously harmed during the ordeal and promptly swam away. Number 8. Octopus Attack Octopus rarely attack humans, and when they do, it's more comical rather than deadly, like this one octopus who kept squirting water at a marine biologist that he didn't like. Check out the previous video on animals taking revenge on humans for that full story. When they do pose great danger, it's primarily passive, like in the case of the extremely venomous blue ring octopus. But as long as you don't touch one, you should be fine. However, this one octopus decided to get physical with a diver. If it weren't for the diver's long diving experience, it could have turned deadly. The clinging octopus wrapped itself around the diver's arm and equipment as he attempted to free himself from its grasp, which he eventually does but he had to throw away the camera he was holding as the octopus desperately clung to it. The diver's friends may have found the encounter comical, but this will definitely be a terrifying experience for a novice diver. Number 7. Stalked by a Croc This short clip taken in 2014 shows a panicked swimmer completely aware that the crocodile was following him and trying to make it to shore before a potential attack. Shock tourists can be heard on the overhanging bridge as they watch the man trying to make it to safety. Fortunately, one of the bystanders throws an object into the water to distract the crocodile, and luckily it seemed to work. Locals said that they avoided entering the water there for fear of enticing the male crocodile, which feeds off food left by tourists. It was a good thing the crocodile was well fed at the time and swam slowly, allowing the man to reach the safety of the shore. Number 6. Don't tread on me. If you swim in waters teeming with stonefish, every step you take is already a close call. The stonefish is the proud owner of the title of the most venomous fish in the world. These creatures might not be the biggest fish in the ocean, only growing a few inches long, but they are a living proof of the fact that you don't have to be huge in order to be a threat. The venom of a stonefish can cause excruciating pain and temporary paralysis, already a lethal combo especially if you're diving miles away from the nearest helm. It can also cause instantaneous heart failure if you're unlucky. 
Unfortunately, there is an anti-venom developer the stonefish is toxin, but it won't do you any good, especially if you're out diving alone with no one to help you. The reassuring fact for divers is that stonefish won't actually attack you, but these creatures use their venom only as a defensive mechanism. Of course, this defensive mechanism is mainly used when divers accidentally step on them. But that doesn't mean that people haven't succumbed to the stonefish's deadly cocktail. Number 5. Great White Attacks Our Rubber Boat On to our second Great White Shark-related close call on the list. But this time, this one didn't jump onto a boat. No, it actually tried to eat it. This footage captures the moment a rubber boat was attacked by a Great White Shark off the coast of Mossel Bay in South Africa. Rainer Schimpf, a tour operator and cameraman, was on his boat leading an adventure tour when the incident occurred. The video shows the shark circling the boat while onlookers take photos. And then all of a sudden it turns on its side and bites into the back of the boat. When the shark bit into the inflatable boat, that section immediately deflated. Sending that the tourists were near panic, Rainer quickly drove the damaged boat to shore. This wasn't normal behavior for Great Whites in the area, so the attack came as a total surprise. Nonetheless, no one was injured during the close encounter, which is definitely a close call if I say so myself. Number 4. Bull Shark Attacks Canoe Okay, so here's another shark that decided to attack a boat. And sure, it's not a great white, but it still is one of the fiercest predators of the sea and freshwater. In this footage, you'll see a huge shark repeatedly attacking two canoes full of people in Florida. In the video, which was filmed off Key West in 2015, a fisherman stands in one canoe trying to reel in a bull shark when the monster fish races up from the deep and rams the vessel and another canoe which is alongside it. The force of the attack was so strong, the fishermen and the passengers were almost thrown overboard. If you're thinking this is a one and done deal, think again though. The bull shark actually rams the canoe several more times before eventually getting off the line and swimming away. Number 3. Mick Fanning's Close Call Australian pro surfer Mick Fanning spends a lot of time in the water competing in various surf competitions all over the world. He's had a number of close calls while surfing, but none of them compares to what happened in the J Bay Open held in 2015 in Jeffreys Bay, South Africa. The finals have just started when Fanning was knocked off his surfboard and into the sea. As he said on his surfboard, he felt something get stuck on his leg rope, so he tried to kick it away. And then he saw fins, followed quickly by teeth. Fanning, fortunately, was able to give the shark a few punches on its back and started it away. The entire event was broadcast live on TV, and the footage of the shark attack really is quite scary. Fortunately, rescue teams quickly saw what was happening and rushed over to where Fanning was, preventing anything bad from happening. And now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick was submitted by a subscriber and looks definitely like a close call. In the photo, you can see a whale narrowly missing a boat. The thing is, the only thing I can find out about this photo is that it was taken by some guy named Alfredo, so I can't really say whether this is real or not. But if you want to see a real close call with a whale, stick around. It's coming up next with number two. Almost swallowed by a whale. Whales have always been considered as gentle giants by us humans, and that's how they've been always depicted in books, film, and TV. Well, except for Moby Dick and uh, that one whale and Pinocchio. Um, Moving on. Anyhow, although they are the largest creatures on Earth, we don't necessarily expect an attack from them. But the truth is, there have been many documented cases of whales attacking boats. And whether or not the attacks were intentional or accidental, we can't really say. But the fact is that due to the sheer size of these creatures, even an innocent nudge can capsize a boat. Getting too close to them while feeding is a big risk as well. That's exactly what two kayakers found out. Two kayakers on a whale-watching adventure off the coast of California got the scare of their lives when a humpback whale came up from below and nearly swallowed them. One of the kayakers had her phone out at the time and managed to capture the experience on camera. Other whale watchers in the area managed to capture the incident on camera too, and from their vantage points, it looked like the kayakers had gotten swallowed. The two were safe though and were simply thrown overboard by the whale. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Up Close and Personal When faced with a dangerous situation, kind of like being attacked by a shark, you only have your wits and or whatever is available to fend off for yourself and possibly save your life. If you are an underwater photographer shooting one of the most aggressive sharks in the world, of course you use your camera. 
Conservationist Russell Easton was photographing a 12-foot tiger shark in the Bahamas when he got the close-up he was not expecting. He was looking through the camera's viewfinder taking photos of the bees when all of a sudden all he could see was a huge mouth and some really sharp teeth. It was only because of the camera that he wasn't bitten. Easton explains that biting is the only way for sharks to find out what something is, and is the reason for many shark attacks as well. He was just fortunate that the tiger shark was more curious about the camera than him, giving him precious seconds to swim away. Tell me, have you had any close calls at sea or otherwise? Well, let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the rest of the channel's amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.